the number one secret to content creation that I wish I knew sooner. You can get paid to be yourself. No need to put your dreams on a shelf. Solve your own problems, find the answers. Film it, share it, seize the chances. Create each day, explore what's true. So you start to understand your life deep and through. Money will follow when you're being real. But no longer wasting life is the biggest deal. I mean, aren't you hitting two birds with one stone? Where finding the answers to your questions and earning money from your content are the birds flown. And you writing, researching and filming about it is the stone that is thrown. If you see this, then find that burning question. The one you must know. And open a dock, let the words flow. The number one secret to content creation that I wish I knew sooner is that you can get paid to be yourself, to become financially free while doing what you love. Or maybe better said, to remove the need of money while not wasting time. That is a secret I wish I realized in 2012 when I uploaded my first video to YouTube. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people. And I say the number one secret that I wish I realized because I'm sure I've heard it many, many times before that you can get paid to be yourself but it never hit home so what made me realize this truth i would say four points the first one being i already solve my own problems in my life i already find the answers to my own questions and i already explore what i want to explore the most in this moment maybe not that much before definitely right now so if i'm already doing all of these things why not film it why not write about it reminds me of a quote from tony morrison if there is a book you want to read but it hasn't been written yet then you must write it. it brings me to the second point by writing about my own problems my own questions i can use those letters as talking points for my video so that I can upload it to YouTube and also short form on the other platforms. So that I'm basically building the foundation for my dream house, which is never having the need of money again. First, I would say never to worry about money again. Worrying can be solved before you have solved the need for money because you do not have to worry about it. It's maybe something more complex and for another video. In fact, I've spoken about it a lot of times already. But by posting everything, especially on YouTube, I'm building the foundation to remove the need for money. More about the money part later in this video. And if you want to understand why YouTube should be your priority, or at least is my number one priority, you can watch this video next. And the third point, creating every day in my situation, which is mostly writing, makes me see more of the truths that I want to find. So why is this so? Number one, because I create that much, I have more time or I use my time for that. And therefore I'm able to go much deeper into my own problems, into my own questions. So I think about it, if you can spend the time you currently spend on your job or maybe your own company or your freelance work, if you can use that time to solve and go deep into your own problems and questions, then in fact the quantity is much higher which doesn't say it will lead to more quality but i've noticed that it often does for me and the other reason is that i also by posting it feel a sense of responsibility which maybe is not true because i would say this is a creation of my mind this whole feeling of responsibility but until i believe that i also feel besides the internal motivation and desire and the external well almost validation you could say to really go deep into the topic and really make sure it is the actual truth and the actual solution. And the fourth point, it is those very realizations about my own life that I value highest in my life, above the need for money, above the need for affection, above anything. And I'm not saying this is true for you, but for me this is true. And therefore, doing it doesn't feel like a waste of time. And after having seen that I've wasted so many years of my life, the most powerful thing I can do is to use the rest of my life to not do the same. And to maybe create more clarity for yourself. You can ask yourself, and you've heard this often, what would you do if you had a billion dollars right now? Try to maybe move yourself into that person, even though it is a thought experiment, don't usually go somewhere. To one person, perhaps it can lead to a realization that it is in fact the search for answers to your questions and almost solutions to your problems is what continues even after you already have enough money to do and spend for the rest of your life. So why not already do that every day? Think about it by creating every day, whatever that looks like to you. In my case, writing, 
about my own questions, about my own problem, and also just things I want to explore. Don't have to be necessarily questions or problems, although often they are questions. Aren't you hitting two birds with one stone? Where the understandings that come from that creation process is one of the birds, the other one is financial freedom, and the creation process itself is the stone. This is what I wish I realized before I got a job, before I founded my company before I hired over 50 people. I ignored the number one opportunity in front of me. I'm not trying to convince you of this because this isn't an opportunity to everyone. Even though you have been almost conditioned to see opportunity as something that is for you. I see this as the birds, right? That I hit with the stone, the one stone. But maybe you see this as a rotten apple. That's why I often come to the question, what is it that you really want? That being said, if you watch this video, I assume you may deep inside feel the same way, but please don't make my experience your own. Because a big disclaimer, I, I'm a conditioned individual as well. I may have made some realizations that are absolutely true, but if you believe me and those realizations to be true for yourself, they will remain a belief. So the serious person experiments and examines that very own experience. That being said, if you see truth in my realizations, why don't you start? Or maybe you have already, but why aren't you like all in? This all in feeling that you know I'm talking about. Reminds me of a quote that I made a visual about from Maya Angelou. There's no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. So why do you not start after watching this video? It's a question that I can't answer for you. I mean, everyone has different reasons why they procrastinate, just not start on something they do think they want. And your reasons are unique to you. So I can only share why I didn't start, because I did not decide. I did not decide to find a way, regardless of what would happen. And where there's no desire, there's no way. So may you find for yourself, by yourself, without distracting yourself for once. What do I want? Only you can find the answer. Nobody can help you. I hope you can see this. So you stop distracting yourself with research on Google, Reddit, Quora, watching videos on YouTube, listening to podcasts, creating vision boards, doing affirmation, and so on and so on. When I did for myself, I saw that I no longer wanted to hide from the most important question in my life. I wanted to solve the problems that I put away in the box in the corner of my room. When I realized this, I naturally started to crawl towards that box and I saw how big this box was, how full it was. I mean, I'm 23 years old. Look at your own age and how many questions and problems you've put away in that box. Look at it. I decided, after I decided, it was no longer overwhelming, even though the box was extremely big. Instead, it almost became exciting to start to unpack the box. And I started. You can start too. For example, starting your days to find the answer to your most acute question in that very moment. That's how my creation process and my days look like. By the way, on some days, I don't really feel I have a problem or a question on top of mine. So on those days, I just find the thing that I want to explore the most. For example, some time ago, I wanted to know the reasons behind Alex or Moses' investment into school. So I went deep into the topic and I made a video about it. You can watch here in case that is something that is interesting to you. So I'm saying this just to give you practical ideas and maybe some inspiration for yourself. So you may start to see how this eliminates procrastination. If you don't, then think about the most important problem or question in your life right now. Right now. How easy would it be for you to think about it? You probably already do that. How easy is it for you to research about the solution or just anything? It doesn't require effort, you see? Nor energy. It's almost what you think about when you are somewhere else and you come home and you can finally explore it. It would make it extremely easy to get started, right? Why do you think this is? Because you want to find out for yourself. You're not doing it for others. You're not just doing it for money. Maybe for the first time in your life, you're doing it because you have the desire to know for yourself. So how great would it be if you can do that every day and you just happen to make money along the way from it? Now how, you may ask, how will this money start to appear? This is the question to the unserious person because the serious person knows there's not one way and there's definitely not one how. The serious person has decided for him or herself and finds his or her own way. And I'm not interested in talking to unserious people. So if you are serious about this and maybe through watching me speak about it, it hit you somewhere feeling that you do not want to waste your life any longer and that you think this may be the way to prevent that, then naturally you get started then naturally you do more of it, then naturally you become obsessed with it, then naturally there is no other way, there is no way how you cannot do it. It won't be easy, 
but it doesn't have to be difficult, you see? I only say this because I remember how it felt when I started. And that wasn't a great feeling, but it doesn't have to be that way. I think to most people, it will not feel easy in the beginning. And I'm not here to comfort you and to say that it will get easier, because that all depends on you. I'm just sharing the truth about my own situation. So you may choose your most acute question or problem, open Google Docs, Notion, whatever, and start writing. The first sentence is often the hardest, especially in the beginning. And from there, you find your way, not my how, you see? May you realize what you want in your life, my friend. What truly drives beneath the surface where passion thrives. Instead of distracting yourself from it, may you find it before it's too late. Talk soon. Only the serious person may check the show notes.